So you recently acquired an ATEM Mini Pro and now you're wondering how can I use it to stream my church services to Zoom? Stick around because by the end of this video you will know exactly how to do that. The ATEM Mini Pro is an affordable live video switcher with four HDMI inputs and a USB webcam out packed with tons of advanced broadcast features. Today, we will look at how easy it is to set up the video switcher and connect it to Zoom for broadcast. First, you will need a camera, a HDMI cable, computer with Zoom, and a USB-C to USB-A or a USB-C to USB-C cable, depending on the port that's available on your computer. Next, you want to power up your video switcher and connect your video camera to it using your HDMI cable. The two things to take note of here is the input you are plugging it into and to ensure that your video camera is outputting the same resolution as your video switcher. By default, the ATEM Mini comes prepared to output 1080p video, so if you are outputting 1080p video from your video camera, you will be fine. Now, if you're using the Sony A6400 like I am, you can do this by hitting the menu button. You'll be going over to tab number one, two, three, four, five, which says setup, then go down, then move over to page four and scroll down to HDMI settings. And there you can choose the HDMI resolution whether you want 1080p or 1080i just ensure that it's the same that you switch if you try one and it doesn't work just try the next next you want to connect your audio source to the ATEM mini there are actually two ways you can do this so choose the one which best works for you you can send the audio over the HDMI through your camera or you can send audio independently to the ATEM Mini from your audio mixer. If you decide to take an output from your audio mixer, ensure you are taking it from your main out. And when time to broadcast, remember to select your audio input on the ATEM Mini, whether you have plugged your audio feed into mic one or mic two. Alright, so now that we've connected our ATEM Mini to our computer, let's look at what the setup is like on Zoom. And that's pretty simple. Let's open up Zoom. Let's go to the settings tab and video. Alright, so this is actually my computer webcam at the top there, but we want to click the drop box and select black magic design now you can see that the video is coming in and that's the camera right here all right that's right there a couple of things that we want to look at is select black magic design ensure that you have hd enabled so you can get the best quality you can also select original ratio you don't have to and in your video settings that's basically it then we can go to the audio tab and in the audio tab we want to ensure that we do somewhat of the same thing so we're gonna select black magic design as our microphone so again this is showing my computer microphone now we're gonna select black magic design check 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 you can see that it's moving and also we're gonna turn off here where it says automatically adjust volume because if you notice I'm speaking and this bar here moves up and down ever so often that's basically zoom trying to adjust the audio there we go again trying to adjust the audio uh the microphone audio sorry for the best experience but because you will be taking your audio from your mixer you won't need that you actually want to ensure that it's on manual and you can put it somewhere like three quarter of the way 
also here where it says suppress background noise you want to keep this on low and if you want you can enable this option which will turn off audio enhancements right and then what this will do is just give the user the option to listen to original sound as it's coming in without zoom doing any processing then we can close and if we try to start a meeting let's say we open our personal room you notice right away that we have our video coming in and we should have our audio coming in as well yeah pretty simple in this case I'm using a boom mic to represent the feed that you'll be taking from your mixer you can do this two ways you can take the main audio out or you can use the auxiliary send and then with the auxiliary send you actually have more control because you can decide what you send to the zoom broadcast so if the piano or the keyboard coming into the system is a bit too loud or you don't want to send that over the zoom broadcast you can actually turn that down if you use the auxiliary send all right all right so let's talk about some additional options these are just things that you can do you don't have to but if you had a second camera you could put that into your switcher also if you had a computer that was displaying graphics or worship lyrics song lyrics or powerpoint slides you could put that as an input as well so that when you get to that point in the service you can enable it on the video switcher and send that over to zoom we started out we put our camera into the switcher we put our audio into the switcher very important if you don't select the audio then you won't hear anything so always ensure that you select whichever mic you plugged in on the back of the switcher here so that's on off on off all right well that's it for today's video i hope you found this video useful if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get more videos like this if you have any questions you can comment below or email at the email address in the video description thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video.